Welcome to another episode of Cookie Vision. In this video, I'm going to be making some uh, back views of some bunnies for Easter. So I'm making three different colors, and I'm starting off with a vintage blue to begin with. And to make this color, you can mix together a little bit of sky blue with a touch of brown or black, uh, just to mute it a little bit. This is a piping consistency with a number two tip, and I've just outlined the entire bunny and I disregarded the bottom. Um, as you can tell, I'm not sure if you can really see this, but the actual shape of the bunny is a bunny face, and this is from the Wilton uh, 101 cutter set, and it's in a bucket, and it comes with all sorts of really neat um, cutters, and this is one of them. So it's basically just a bunny face that I've turned into a bunny butt, so... <laughs> And I filled that in with the same color and a flooding consistency and used my scribe tool to even everything out. Next, I am working on my purple uh, bunny here. And this is a mixture of purple, again, with a touch of brown or black, just to mute it a little bit. And I'm outlining the outside like I did with the previous one, disregarding the little bump at the bottom because that's going to be his tail. And I'm going to fill it in with the same color in a squeeze bottle uh, this time it's a flooding consistency, and I'll use my scribe tool, of course, to even everything out and get rid of any air bubbles. And last but not least, I'm working on a pink version of this bunny, and this pink color was achieved by mixing together a little bit of Dusty Rose um, gel dye mixed with a touch of brown or black, again, to get a more vintage uh, muted shade. And I've outlined the outside, again, disregarding the bottom nubby there, and I'm flooding it in with the same color in a squeeze bottle, this time in a flooding consistency. And again, like always, I'll use my scribe tool to even everything out and get rid of any air bubbles. Now, before moving on to the next step, you do want to make sure that um, this icing is thoroughly dry, uh, just because we are going to be using um, sprinkles and a little bit of pressure so you want to definitely make sure that you let them dry for at least, I would say, overnight uh, would be best. And uh, next I've got some chocolate brown that I've mixed with a touch of vodka. And with a big brush, I'm just splattering it over the top. And this is going to give them a bit of a vintage look. Um, I'm also going to do the same thing with some gold luster dust that I've also mixed with some vodka. And keep in mind, just remember that... Um, People who have concerns about the vodka, it does evaporate, so you don't have to worry or um, fret about giving these to children. Um, the vodka does completely evaporate and there's nothing left but the luster dust. So you can see I'm just doing another speckly coat of the luster dust over top of the chocolate brown speckles that I already did. You can see that nice lovely shine. Now before I add the tails, I want to re-outline these bunnies. I'm re-outlining the body and tracing where the head or the back of the head would be um, and then outlining the ears as well. And this is again a number one tip this time with the same blue that I used to outline it originally. And I'm doing the same with the purple or lavender bunny. Again with the same lavender that I used to outline it before. This time with a number one tip just to make it a bit more um, precise and outlining the ears as well. And then lastly, I will also outline the pink bunny as well. Uh, this is the same pink that I used to outline him in the first place, and a number one tip. Now this outlining won't take very long to dry, I would just give it a half an hour or so before you move on to the tails. 
And for the tails, I've got a piping consistency white royal icing and a number two tip. And I'm doing the bottom half of the tail just to make it level with the rest of the cookie. And I've let that crust over just for a few minutes and I've done the whole tail with the same flooding, or sorry, piping consistency white royal icing. And now I'm going to dip it into some fine sparkling sugar or just sanding sugar. And this will give him a nice uh, sparkly fluffy looking tail and it looks really nice with the um, the vintage look and it just really sets it off and you could definitely leave it with just um, royal icing but I really do like the look of the sparkling sugar it really gives it some extra pizzazz and there we go we've got three cute bunny butts all lined up in a row Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to like me on Facebook and on Instagram. Bye!